essentially one of the coolest things I have ever owned, man. This thing is awesome. We uh, did some cool stuff with this one. This actually had off-road tires on it before, and we had them switch out the off-road tires for road tires, but kept the, uh, the rims on there. Of course, we did it in red because that is my favorite color. I think we're gonna be getting some compartments down there to kind of cover up some of that stuff. Uh, but this thing is really, really awesome. Super comfortable, the seats are. We actually had them install uh, seat belts for the kids to make sure that they don't fall out. Uh, it is gas powered. We decided not to go with the electric version, but actually did the gas powered. Of course, this thing has actually been lifted, so it has some pretty nice clearance on it. And uh, I honestly could not be more pleased with this. You know, the goal honestly was to get the Polaris Ranger, but I could not justify it. I couldn't justify it to the wife as to why I needed that one. But uh, I think that this is a pretty nice compromise. So at this point, we are probably two and a half weeks into the new house and the new comic book space. And I wanted to give you guys a, a look at how things are shaping up here. When I first moved into the house, the first priority, of course, was to set up the studio as quickly as I could in order to be able to film some videos, do some live shows and things like that. And I've been slowly in the background trying to organize things and put things together and it's been tough. It's been tough just because it's really difficult to make changes at the same time as you're trying to record things to fulfill obligations, but uh, we're making progress. And so I wanna give you guys a look at how things are shaping up right now. Uh, recognize that it is still a hot mess. I mean, you can actually see my trash pile back. <laughs> it is a mess. Don't judge me, people. Don't judge me. So that's where I was just sitting a hot second ago. I actually work from this spot. Temporary chair, temporary table, whatever. It's great for work because the light comes through the window and illuminates me quite nicely for those video calls that I have to do. We have some old furniture that we picked up from the previous owner that I kind of store uh, the Wi-Fi and, and modem and all that kind of stuff. And then in here are a bunch of like supplies, stickers, scissors, labels, all that kind of stuff, as well as my handy dandy saran wrap and weight scale. That's how I mail packages out. So give you guys a quick little look at the room here. So you can see the studio back over there. We'll walk over there, but in a second, right here in this uh, front part is basically where I have all the comics kind of set up. Still trying to sort this stuff and organize it a little bit better right now. It is honestly just a hot mess, a hodgepodge of, um, of boxes that I hope to be able to move around. But I'm using this table right now for taking photos, packing up orders, um, just having a place to stick stuff. Um, and then as we make our way back over here, you can see, you know, this is where the studio is. This is the area that is basically set up. I have uh, the table here, all the lights. I basically have a little, um, couple of appendages on the back side of this thing that are fixed to the table that holds my monitor and also the iPad that I use for filming. The microphone is mounted there as well. And uh, back over here behind me, I basically built an eight foot wall. And uh, this was necessary because all of the walls in this room are curved or angled, I should probably say. The back wall pitches this way the side walls pitch in towards the middle. I mean, it, it is a tough room to do anything with. So we basically built an eight foot wall that gives me a nice flat backdrop. And um, this was necessary, it really was. And as a result of building this wall, I've had to reconfigure the entire room from scratch. Last night, I basically moved everything around trying to figure out what would work and as a result of you know, moving everything, I'm having to readjust all of the sing all of the lights, all of the angles um, with the distance between the lights and the slabs on the wall, you get a glare. So I'm trying to solve for that right now. And then because I film using two different cameras, that also causes a little bit of a challenge because that's my iPad mount right there. And then this is where the webcam is. And they have two different angles, two different vantage points and uh, it, it, there's just conflict. So I'm trying to work through all that stuff. 
some soundproofing right there to kind of keep my voice in this way. And then we have soundproofing in the front. Back behind this soundproofing, you actually have a bunch of slabs, uh, well, slab boxes, I should say. But this is essentially um, the setup. I think it's going to work out quite nicely, I think. And uh, we're going to constantly make some tweaks, make some improvements. And you can see here the red lines. I'm basically still marking out where I want the slabs to actually go. I think I'm going to have a second row of slabs below. And that's sort of boring. But uh, at this point, I need slabs on a wall. And then I can make it sexy over time. So we may do something across the top. I may do some things down the sides. But those... Um, those alleys on either side are essentially the viewing area, right? That's outside of the viewing area. So we're going to figure out what to be done with that. So we'll see whether I get some additional tables and things in here to kind of help me to organize things. I don't want to feel it to feel too cluttered with too many tables. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, as I mentioned, that is my trash pile over there. Ignore that. Back over there is a, a closet. It's actually a pretty long closet that runs the length of this room and that's where I store uh, bubble wrap, old copies of reprints, um, you know, additional packing supplies and things like that. So that's essentially the tour. I actually wanna head downstairs and give you guys a look at something else. So right off to my left is the comic book room. We're actually headed down a back staircase right now. And this is like a secret, <laughs> a secret back cave is what my kids call it. So we're gonna head downstairs and uh, check this out. Right, we're gonna step into the garage here. You can see the golf cart we picked up as well as the John Deere lawnmower, but more importantly, the 100K collection is stored in here as well. This was a bear, let me tell you. You know, the big priority for me with getting the collection here was to get it off of the floor. So we very quickly set up these um, these racks. And I think there's 10 or 11 racks in here right now. And the goal was to get the collection off of the floor where the movers left it, to get it on the racks so that everything was at least up off the ground. And uh, at some point, I'm going to get in here and kind of organize things because right now it is not organized at all in any way, shape or form. <laughs> but uh, at least it's off the ground and uh, and protected. So I will tell you that we actually installed in here. Let me see if I can pan down here. We actually installed in here a, a dehumidifier and actually is on a, a constant run cycle whenever the humidity reaches a certain level drains off into that uh, drain that you can see below the garden holes I monitor the temperature in here with this thing right here actually connects to something in the house and allows me to kind of know what's happening out here I'm evaluating uh, whether I need a second dehumidifier and or an AC unit at present it stays relatively cool in the garage uh, because of where it is in position to the house and all that stuff. So we're going to see. We're going to see whether additional changes are needed. But again, this is uh, the, the 100K collection. You can see my jury-rigged uh, electrical. <laughs> we are in the process of having an electrician come out to make some repairs for us. But this is the collection. And uh, up top, let me see if we can pan up there. You can see an old bolt that we picked up from the previous owner. This is a bunch of just Reggie Collects related stuff that's all stored up on top. But yeah, this is it. And um, I will try to remember to put a link up for these shelves because I know a few people have actually asked me about the shelves before when I posted something on Instagram. So I'll try to remember to put a link up somewhere for, uh, for the shelving. So this is actually the first time that the 100K collection has ever been in the same place as my main collection. It's never really happened before. So it's just a kind of a cool thing. But I will tell you that this collection actually takes up a ton of space, as one would imagine. So much so that we can't even park our cars inside the garage uh, with the John Deere and the golf cart. It takes up a lot of room along with the collection and the, the exercise equipment. Um, so the plan is to eventually build another garage off here to the side. And in that garage is where the 100K collection will go, the gym will go, and then also the studio that's upstairs above the garage will move down over here. Uh, the time of that, the timing, who knows? Who knows what that's going to look like? But I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. There's a space back over there where the kids are playing soccer that hopefully will eventually become a garage at some point. So we will see 
whether we can make that magic happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief update on how things are progressing here at the house. There is still a lot more work to be done, uh, but little by little, we are going to make the magic happen and uh, continue putting out some good content. With that said, I wanna give you guys a quick look at some bonus footage that my son actually shot for me. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And as always, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Mom, we're taking a video of Daddy. Be quiet. <laughs> Ooh. It's a video. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Daddy.